Previously on Islam's lab, I prototyped the PCB for my project on my computer. And now I just received it. It's ready for assembly. Let's see what happened later. Now I have the printed circuit boards, but I faced another small problem. There is a component with specific sizes on board, and I am afraid to discover that after ordering components I find something missing or forget to order some parts. So, I searched for component supplier, and I found this company, their name is LCSC, or shortcut of Love Components Save Cost. Honestly, I am surprised, because this company offering a wide range of components from many manufacturers and all of these parts are original. Also, in website I found something called EOM tool. I was curious to know what this tool can do. So, here is the thing. This POM tool helps you to buy exactly what you need. How? Let me explain it shortly. From schematic software, make sure all components has a value, like resistors and capacitors and other components that need the value. Then, from menu, choose bill of materials. Before exporting, Make sure you check part name, value, quantity, and size. Then export as CSV file. Upload the file to the website via BOM tool, then purchase page will appear with values and quantities. Check the part specifications before adding it to your cart. If there is no enough data or details not clear enough for you, you can read the data sheet for this part directly from the same page. And actually, the most amazing thing about this site that they offer a data sheet filed for almost every part they sell. Also, the support team is very friendly and very cooperative. So, if you need any help, you can ask them directly and they will respond as soon as they see the message.
Now I have picked what I need from the website. So all what I can do now is waiting my package. The package has been arrived. Let's see what I have here. Packing looks great. Whoa! They sent every component inside a small bag. And the most amazing thing here is this small bag has a label telling you part information and quantity. So, you don't have to pick your magnifier to sort your components. Now let's move to the project. After soldering all components, we have one more step before start working with our project. The microcontroller here is blank and it needs a firmware. So, as you know, our project is based on Arduino. First thing we need Arduino board and jumper wires. Connect pin number 10 from Arduino to reset pin on the PCB. Then connect the others as shown here. By connecting the Arduino you can now burn the bootloader on your board. Let's see how. Open your IDE and, from examples, choose Arduino ISP. Then, upload the code normally to your Arduino board. From Tools menu, choose Programmer, Arduino as ISP. And again, from Tools, choose Burn Bootloader and make sure there is no errors after uploading. Now your microcontroller is ready for uploading your Arduino code. Wait, don't take off your jumper wires. You still need to upload your code to the microcontroller. Open the battery tester sketch and from sketch menu choose upload using programmer. Now you can take off the jumper wires and start using this project. So, now let me tell you how to use it. Battery connector. The left bed is negative and the right one is positive. The same for charger connector. Both connectors are controlled by the microcontroller via transistors. These transistors are isolated by optocouplers for microcontroller safety. The discharge connector on the upright of the board is not the same. There is no control on it, but you can add a load on it and monitor the battery discharge to this load. Also, if you cut off the power from the board, it will still draining your battery. So, don't keep the battery connected after powering off your board. 
in case you use this discharge feature. This project is completed as hardware, but software still needs some edits, because honestly, I'm not programming expert. Finally, there are a lot of ideas could use this project without having to modify the hardware, like battery capacity tester, battery charge monitor, battery box charger, battery discharge time calculator, battery desulfator, or battery reconditioning device. All components used in this project is sponsored by LCSC.com Finally, you can find all project related files and information in description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.